you guys, it's your girl T. So I want to go ahead and shout out Robert Leia. Robert was one of the first ones to send me this story. And of course, it's coming from our first favorite state, wretched ass Florida. So what's going on now in Florida, you ask? What's going on is that basically we have another freezer mom 2.0. This whole situation is just heart wrenching. It makes no sense whatsoever. So what went down is that we have a 31 year old woman. Her name is Kashana Thomas and she's a mother of four children. And basically her son, one of her older children was caught shoplifting at Walmart. So when they called her to go down there to basically go pick him up, she started going off on him and beating him and everything else. So child protection services were called there to the store. So while Child Protection Services was there, the little boy was saying that the mother's always abusing them and hitting them and everything else. So they went to the house to go check on the other children because they knew that she had four kids because she's already been in the system. When they got to the uh, when they got to her home, they only saw three of the four children. So they were asking her, well, where's little Janiah Thomas? And she was making up all types of excuses and everything else. They end up arresting the mother. And then it comes out basically that they're holding her in custody. Her mom and her sister are called and they they end up telling the police that just about a week ago, Kanisha Thomas came with some strange man and they had the mother put a freezer in the garage. So the police go to the mother's house, they end up opening up the freezer and in there they find the body of the little girl who's 11 years old, who has literally been missing you guys, peep this, since 2013. For the past two years, no one has seen her. This entire situation is so disturbing. I want you guys to watch both of these news clips. I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. News at 602, a body is found in a freezer. Police believe it's an 11-year-old Bradenton girl reportedly missing for more than a year. That girl's mother is now at the Manatee County Jail. That's where Melissa Beckman is live this morning. Uh, Melissa, what charges is she facing? Good morning, Jean. Contempt of court. Now, at this point, she is not being held here on a charge related to her 11 year old's death. Today, the medical examiner will work to positively identify the child and then try to determine exactly how she died. Now, this morning, even after that disturbing discovery in the freezer, detectives tell us the mom is refusing to cooperate. Nope, she won't talk to us. She won't say a word to us. She, she's staying, taking the Fifth Amendment. Every time we go to talk to her, she won't say a word to us. Well, this is 31 year old Kishana Thomas. Police arrested her last week after her 12 year old showed up at a Walmart alleging abuse. When Child Protective Services started investigating, they realized one of her other five children, Janaya, had actually been missing since August of 2014. At a court hearing, Thomas refused to answer questions about Janaya's whereabouts. Relatives tell detectives Thomas showed up at their house last week, saying she had to store a big freezer in the garage. The freezer was locked. It wasn't until last night when Janiya's aunt and grandmother decided to break that lock and look inside. They called police as soon as they made that gruesome discovery. This morning, Janiya's four siblings are still in state custody, and as police continue probing her mother, they also want to talk to a man who they believe helped her drop that freezer off at the relative's house. Detectives tell us they did identify that man overnight, and he is cooperating. They do plan to, uh, to interview him later today. Now, as soon as there are any new developments in this very disturbing case, we'll let you know. Gene. That's a horrifying uh, discovery there for those family members, uh, alleged family members, Melissa, but we will check back with you for more on this story. We are hearing now from the aunt of that 11-year-old girl found dead in a freezer. The aunt discovered the body last night, the child's mother already behind bars. The little girl was last seen alive more than a year ago. Eight on your side's Candace McCowan has been looking into this story for us today, and she has the update. Yeah, Keith, investigators tell us everyone in the family is giving them the same timeline. They last saw little Janaya sometime around August of 2014. When I spoke with the family, they didn't explain how a year went by without them seeing Janaya, but you can imagine they're overwhelmed with grief. They too want answers. When I went to talk to Janaya's aunt and grandmother, they were still in shock. I have, ma'am. I'm too upset to talk. But they did tell me about the freezer dropped off at their home last week by Janaya's mother, Kashana, and a male companion. I don't know. I know she asked me to bring the freezer to you. And it wasn't a small one. Maria Barger lives across the street from where Janaya's body was found. She's been trying to console the family since, but tells me they weren't told much about the freezer when it was dropped off. Just that it was phony. We need to keep it plugged in. The medical examiner is still working to determine how Janiyah died and how long ago. 
They're questioning the man who they say dropped off the freezer with her mother. Meantime, her mother appeared before a judge this afternoon. She's now charged with two counts of aggravated child abuse of Janiah's 12 year old brother. Police saying a doctor found he had injuries consistent with abuse. I, I can't understand why. I mean, I know as a mom, you get very frustrated, but you walk away. You, you know, you walk away. Investigators tell us the family had not seen Janaya alive in more than a year. Friends explaining Kishana often kept to herself. I know that the mom was a private person. They have a big family. You know, there's a lot of grandchildren, a lot of great grandchildren. Today, I spoke with the Manatee School District. They tell me Janiah last attended school with them in May of 2013. Her mother then told them that she was homeschooling the next school year. When they checked in with her mother later, they were told that Janiah no longer lived in the school district. Boy, He's so many unanswered questions here. A year. Yeah. And, and, and then this happens. And, and this family, has it ever been under the radar of uh, protective services in any way? That's a question that a lot of people have, and we understand that they've had nine prior interactions with that family. However, they've never felt the need to take the kids. As far as we know, they do have custody of them right now, and we should learn more about those prior incidents later on this evening. Such a pretty little girl. All right. Candace, thank you. I just watched both those news clips, and a lot of things are not sitting well with me with this story. First of all, let's just give the fact that she's only 31 years old. She already has all these children, okay? And I think I might have said she had four kids. I think she has five. Um, so she has all these kids. There's no father around to help her. For when I was reading, they're saying that little Janai Thomas, she has some type of ball issue, um, some type of medical issue where she would use the bathroom on herself and the mother would get frustrated with her and just lock her in the bathroom for hours at a time because she couldn't control when she would go to the bathroom on herself. And supposedly her father died from the same disease. So I think that's why little Janai was targeted. Another thing that bothers me with this is that I refuse to believe that just a week ago that this mother, Kanisha Thomas, just happened to drop this freezer off at her mother and her sister's house. I refuse to believe that, okay? It's been two years since you've seen your niece or your grandchild. You see all the other grandchildren, but you don't see this particular one. Where are the questions? Her father is dead, so it's not like she's at her father's house, okay? I feel like the mother and the sister, they know more than what they're telling. I feel like they might have been covering up for Kanisha. I feel like that freezer had to have been at the mother's house a lot longer than just a week. There's no way in hell a family member of mine could come bring some big ass freezer, okay? Because the freezer has to be big enough to carry a body, okay? There's no way in hell somebody could just come and bring a big ass freezer to my garage, to my property that I pay rent for every month, okay? The freezer is locked, so I can't go in there. I can't, you know, even benefit from using the freezer like by storing my own, you know, fruits and vegetables and stuff like that. I can't use the freezer, but yet and still you can use my electricity to keep the freezer running. Get the fuck out of here. There's no way in hell somebody could bring a freezer to my house that's locked and I'm not allowed to peek inside and see what's up in there. You know, the whole situation just makes no sense. Where the hell were the rest of the family members? Okay, the grandmother is not doing her job. The sister's not doing her job. They're saying they have this huge family. Where are the cousins? Where are the aunties? Where are the uncles? There's no way in hell one of my little nephews, my little nieces can go missing for two years and I don't see or hear from them. It makes no sense. I could not just take my kids away for the next two years and know by my family not see or hear from them. My mom talks to my oldest son damn near every day to make sure that he's straight. You know what I'm saying? I don't understand how a grandmother can go that long without talking to her grandchildren. My brother talks to my oldest son who's out here dang near every day. He talks to his grandmother on his dad's side. He talks to his dad when he can. You feel me? It's like our family is always checking in on our kids. I don't understand like how this is normal. How family members go years without seeing an 11 year old child. You know, nobody was going to her birthday parties. Were there no parties being thrown for these kids? You know, if you have this many, if you're stressed out when you have one or two children, there's no reason to keep having any more. It is not easy raising children. I will never understand how women can get stressed out by having one to two kids, but yet and still, they don't get on birth control. They don't do anything to prevent any further pregnancies. There's no reason why at 31 years old, she's sitting here with all these kids and no fathers around to help her out. Of course, you're gonna be stressed. Of course, it's gonna be overwhelming. But what she did to this child, there's no excuse for that at all. I mean, this whole situation is sickening. And the fact that this is a second story in less than a year, where a mother has put her child in a freezer after killing them, 
it's just really, really sad. You know that nobody cared enough about this girl to, to do a welfare check. Nobody from the school made sure that she was really being homeschooled. It's like this girl just got lost in the cracks. And if her brother would not have been caught shoplifting at Walmart, this secret probably would have died with the mother. You know, the whole situation is just really, really disturbing. Anyways, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. How do you feel about this ratchet-ass story that's once again coming from our first favorite state, ratchet-ass Florida? Do you feel like the mother and the sister could be involved in this? Do you feel like they're being honest when they say that they just received the freezer a week ago? Do you feel like they've been at that freezer, but they want to basically, you know, distance themselves? So that's why they caught the police and made up that story, saying that they just got the freezer. And then do you feel like they should also be charged for neglect for not checking up on their grandchild or on their niece. So anyways, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. Hey guys, it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.